can more price and discount difficult and tough questions but shortcuts to solve more price and discount in three seconds so let's go to the first slide fraction percentage okay what is given here is fraction and percentage you may wonder i am not giving any formula you may need some formulas but I, in my opinion formulas are not all necessary only these things are necessary okay keep in mind what is 1 by 2 50 percentage what is 1 by 3 33.33 percentage what is 1 by 4 25 percentage what is 1 by 5 20 percentage what is 1 by 6 6 16.66 percentage. What is 1 by 7? 14.28 percentage. 1 by 8? 12.5. 1 by 9? 11.11. 1 by 10? 10 percentage. 2 by 5? Okay, well, we know 1 by 5 is 20 percentage. 2 by 5 would be 40 percentage. Shall we go to the question? First question. An article is marked up by 20 percentage. Then a discount of 16.66 percentage is given on it. Find the profit or loss. So how to do this type of question? When they say that it is marked up by 20%, so it is increased by 20%. So what is 20%? We know it is 1 by 5. So marked price equal to 1 plus 1 by 5. Why? Because 1 is nothing but 100%. 100% 100 is 100 by 100 is 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 by 5 CP. That is 6 by 5 times CP. It is 6 by 5 times CP. It is that much more than CP. Mark price. Okay, shall we go to the next line? Discount. Discount is 16.66 percentage. What is 16.66 percentage? Shall we recall? Yes, 16.66 percentage is 1 by 6. But since they have given discount, shall we have to add or subtract? Yes, we have to subtract. So, discount is 1 minus 1 by 6. What is 1 minus 1 by 6? 5 by 6. So, mod price multiplied by discount is nothing but either it, you will get this SP. So, SP is 6 by 5 CP into 5 by 6. That is first line multiplied by second line. Or rather, you can remember SP is mod price multiplied by discount. So, 6 by 5 CP into 5 by 6 CP. What is that? You will get every number every numbers get cancelled every number is getting cancelled so you'll get one cp so sp by cp equal to one so what do you understand is then cp equal to sp so there is no profit no loss shall we move on to the next question an article is marked up by 33.33 percentage and then a discount of 40 percent is given on it find the profit or loss percentage okay how to do this mod price equal to one plus one by three cp you already know that 33.33 percentage is 1 by 3. So, 1 plus 1 by 3. What is 1 plus 1 by 3? 4 by 3 CP. As I already said, discount is nothing but subtraction or decrease. 40 percentage is 2 by 5. So, discount equal to 1 minus 2 by 5. What is 1 minus 2 by 5? It's 3 by 5. Now, selling price is nothing but multiplication of first line and second line. Okay, that is mod price into discount. So, SP is nothing but 4 by 3 CP into 3 by 5 CP. What is 4 by 3? 5, 4 by 3 into 3 by 5. 3 gets cancelled. So, final answer is 4 by 5, which is nothing but 80%. I had already 100%. Now, I am having only 80%. Is there a loss or profit for me? Loss. How much loss? 20% loss. Beautiful. Very simple method, right? We don't go for any formula. An article is marked up by 33.33 percentage and the profit is 16.66 percentage only. Find the discount percentage. In the previous two questions, more first line mod price was given, second line discount was given and third line we did something, right? In this question, there is a slight change. Profit is given. Question has changed but we are not going to change. We are going to do the same thing what we did earlier. MP equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 CP. I think you know that, right? Since 33.33 percentage is 1 by 3. So, you know this 4 by 3 CP. Profit is, since profit is nothing but addition. So, 1 plus 1 by 6. 16.66 percentage is 1 by 6. What is 1 plus 1 by 6? 7 by 6. So, question is asked about discount percentage. So, what is discount percentage? 4 by 3 CP. The first line multiplied by discount percentage is nothing but mark price. Okay. That is a profit per profit into discount is nothing but mark price. So, 4 by 3 CP into X equal nothing but 7 by 6. So, what is X? Bring this 4 by 3 to the right hand side. It will now go as 3 by 4. So, 7 by 6 into 3 by 4. 7 into 3, 21. 6 into 4, 24. 21 by 24 is 7 by 8. Lowest fraction, right? So, 7 by 8 means there is a loss of 1 by 8. What is that 1 by 8 percentage? Nothing but 12.5 percentage. So, there is a loss. What is the other name for loss? 
discount so answer is discount of 12.5 percentage loss here we just take the synonym or equivalent as discount percentage loss percentage is discount percentage an article is sold at a discount of 20 percentage and a profit of 40 percentage if the cp is 1600 find the mp how to do this let the mp be x we don't know that more price let it be x okay what is the first step as we have done earlier we uh, we can do this question quickly 4 by 5x equal to 7 by 5. Do you know how the how I am getting 4 by 5? Discount is 20 percentage. Okay. 20 percentage is 1 by 5. What is 1 minus 1 by 5? 4 by 5. Profit is 40 percentage. 40 percentage is 2 by 5. What is 1 plus 2 by 5? 7 by 5. I hope you can understand this line. I just I am skipping that line purposefully so that you can also you should do faster. So 4 by 5x equal to yeah, 4 by 5 into x equal to 7 by 5. So x equal to 7 by 5 into 5 by 4. So 5 gets cancelled. Now only 7 by 4 is remaining. So what we can understand is 1600 multiplied by 7 by 4 is 2800. What is this answer? This answer is 2800. So same method for percentage increase or percentage decrease. Okay, how to do this? A question. We have seen this question earlier, right? We did this question in another method. We are going to do this in now in another method. In a rectangle, the length is increased by 40% and the breadth is decreased by 16.66%. Find the percentage change in its area. I strongly recommend whenever the questions are given in decimal, kindly follow this method. Okay. Out of two things, one of the cases is decimal. How to do this? Yes. New length increased by 40%. It's nothing but 1 plus 2 by 5. 40% we know 2 by 5. New length is 7 by 5. New breadth, it is decreased by 16.66%. So 1 minus 1 by 6, which is nothing but 5 by 6. So what is the area? Area is nothing but length into breadth. New length into new breadth. So 7 by 5 into 5 by 6. 7 by 5 into 5 by 6 is 7 by 6. So 6 by 6 is 100%. 7 by 6, it is just 1 more than 6. That is 1 by 6 more. So what is this 1 by 6 more? It's nothing but 16.66% increase. So area would be increased in... 16.66% okay thanks for watching this video kindly do remember to subscribe this